What if your ordinary kitchen yeast could awaken a sleeping army of microbes in your garden soil in just 24 to 48 hours? This isn't a gimmick or magic. Baker's yeast combined with sugar and warm water can act as a rapid microbial starter, giving your soil a measurable boost in biological activity. The trick is safe and easy, but it's important to remember that this is a microbial stimulant, not a substitute for proper fertilization. Think of it as waking up the living soil, giving microbes energy to start working hard for your plants. Every gardener knows that healthy soil is alive, full of microscopic workers turning organic matter into nutrients. But you know, many soils fall dormant during slow seasons or after heavy rainfall. A small jar of yeast, sugar and warm water can trigger a microbial revival. Yeast feeds on sugar and produces carbon dioxide and small organic compounds. These byproducts act as a wake-up call for dormant soil microbes, stimulating respiration and enzyme activity in just one to two days. Labs consistently show rises in carbon dioxide flux in soils treated this way, and even home gardeners can notice improved soil softness and early root activity. It's crucial to treat this as a booster rather than a full nutrient source. Yeast introduces energy and minor nutrients like B vitamins and amino acids, but it won't replace balanced fertilization. It's a short-term jumpstart that primes your soil for the plants you already support with compost or fertilizer. Yeast fermentation is a surprisingly powerful tool for gardeners. When yeast consumes simple sugar, it produces carbon dioxide, ethanol and short-chain organic compounds. In soil, these products become labile carbon, readily available energy that microbes eagerly consume. As microbes shift from dormancy to active growth, soil respiration rises, enzyme activity increases and root microbe interactions improve. Soil microbes respond quickly because sugar signals energy availability. Dormant microbes awaken, multiplying and metabolizing faster. While the yeast itself can serve as a minor nutrient source, it's mainly a stimulant. Its role is to kickstart microbial life so that the soil ecosystem begins functioning more vigorously. This means faster nutrient cycling, better early root growth, and a livelier soil structure overall. It's a small intervention with surprisingly measurable effects. Even though yeast is natural and safe, there are some key guidelines. Avoid oversugaring or applying too much concentrate, as this can shift microbial balances in unwanted ways. Never pour the undiluted mixture onto exposed seedlings and steer clear of flooded or anaerobic soil, where added sugar can trigger harmful microbial imbalances. The best time to apply is during active growing seasons, with moderate temperatures and moisture. Skip applications in very hot or extremely dry soil, and never rely on this trick alone for long-term fertility. For a 10 square meter vegetable bed, you can make a simple starter concentrate. Combine 10 grams of active dry baker's yeast, about 3 teaspoons or one small packet, with 50 grams of white sugar, which is roughly 4 tablespoons. Add the yeast and sugar to 2 liters of lukewarm water, around 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. It should be warm enough to dissolve the sugar and activate the yeast, but not hot enough to kill it. Swirl gently, let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes, and, um, watch it foam as it comes alive. Once your starter is foamy, dilute it with 18 litres of cool water to reach a total of 20 litres. 
This gives a gentle application rate of 2 litres per square metre, perfect for a 10 square metre bed. Pour slowly so the soil absorbs it without runoff. Apply once every two to four weeks during the growing season, but skip treatments in prolonged rain or overly wet conditions. You can scale this method linearly, half the volume for half the area and so on. Start by lightly loosening the top two to five centimetres of soil, watering lightly if it's dry. Mix your yeast starter until it foams, then dilute to the final 20 litre volume. Using a watering can, hose end sprayer or bucket, distribute evenly across the bed at about 2 litres per square metre. Pour slowly, letting the soil soak the solution. Observe the soil over the next 24 and 48 hours to see the microbial awakening. Any unused concentrate should be stored in the fridge no longer than 24 hours or, well, made fresh for the next application. There are ways to confirm the results of this yeast hack, whether you have lab access or just a backyard setup. For a quantitative test, measure soil respiration using a carbon dioxide flux meter or send soil samples for a microbial respiration assay. Record the baseline just before application, then check again at 24 and 48 hours. A responsive microbial population will show a measurable rise in carbon dioxide emissions. Even classroom kits and portable sensors can detect this uptick. For a do-it-yourself home approach, divide your bed or use paired pots. Treat one side with the yeast solution and the other with plain water. Plant fast-growing seeds like radish or cress or use root cuttings. Track germination rates, root length, soil softness and overall early plant vigour. Photograph progress at 0, 24, 48 hours, and again at 1 week. Expect to see quicker root-tip activity and softer soil where microbes are thriving. Log your observations from germination percentage to visual soil health, and you'll notice the microbial revival in action. While this yeast boost can deliver dramatic short-term results, it doesn't replace long-term soil management. Expect faster early root growth and measurable carbon dioxide increases, but sustainable fertility comes from compost, organic matter and balanced nutrients. Scientific studies support that yeast amendments increase microbial activity but are not a full fertilizer replacement. If no effect is observed, check the yeast's viability. No foam means it wasn't active. Water temperature may have been too hot, or soil conditions too dry or cold for microbes to respond quickly. The yeast soil hack is a simple, low-cost method to energise your garden soil. Within 24 to 48 hours, you can see a measurable boost in microbial activity, improved early root growth and livelier soil structure. Remember the basic checklist. Combine 10 grams of yeast with 50 grams of sugar in 2 litres of warm water. Dilute 1 to 9 to cover 10 square metres. Apply as a soil drench and track the changes with paired comparisons. Always complement this with balanced fertilization for ongoing soil health. It's a small effort with a surprisingly powerful impact on your garden. Give this technique a try and you'll be amazed at how fast your soil can wake up. Don't forget to share your results with fellow gardeners and subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven for more evergreen tips that bring your garden to life.